In the previous video, we took off pretty much all the parts that we could while it was still in the frame. Now that we have it out, we're going to remove the, uh, the cylinder, the head, the valve cover, and then we'll split the engine so that we can take out the crankshaft and the uh, transmission. Um, we've already taken off the four cap nuts and washers and also the uh, four Allen head bolts. So once we took those eight parts off, this head is ready just to slide off. And um, here's a compression release. The way it works is it re opens the intake, no, it opens the exhaust valve. Now to take the head off, we need to remove one more bolt. And it is this one here with a, it has a 10 millimeter head and also a, a Phillips head. Okay, the bolt is out. Now we need to remove the cylinder head. And we'll have to break it loose first. And uh, what you want to do is you may need to bang on it with a hammer. But you want to use a soft-faced hammer and be careful where you pound, beca pound because it's, it's almost all fins and you don't really want to break any of them. Well, it looks like the cylinder and the head's coming off together. I guess it's okay. Oh, look at all that rust on top of the piston. Why is it while the engine was frozen up? Now we're ready to take the piston off. And to get that off, there's a little sir clip here on either side and take it off and use a needle nose pliers or a screwdriver pry it off and then push the wrist pin through from the opposite side and when you pry them off you might want to put your thumb over it so it doesn't go flying across the room although they don't recommend that you reuse them okay here it is isn't that beautiful I think we can use it again. Now we're looking at the right side of the engine and we need to take the um, oil pump off. That's this part here. And um, to take the oil pump off you need to rotate the engine so that you see the two Phillips head screws here. And um, you take those two screws out. Um, you don't need to take these off. These just hold the pump together. But the two screws inside here are the ones that attach it to the uh, case and they're going to be on really tight so you're going to need the um, impact screwdriver and here's the oil pump, it's off now and there's a couple of oil rings that may be stuck in the back here or they may get stuck in the back of your pump now we're ready to remove the shift stopper and you'll notice there's a spring behind the uh, shift stopper and the hooked end of it is on the bottom holding it up and the straight end is back here uh, resting up against the case so you can loosen up this bolt and let it hang down or you just take it off alright here it is hanging down out of the way of this so this could come off now well the shift stopper is off now we can take off this bolt and this vacuum plate for the uh, shift drum and there's a little pin behind it. Now we've taken off all the parts that we can off of the uh, engine before we can split the cases. And um, to split the cases, there's one bolt here at the uh, at the top, the right hand corner, just below the cylinder, on this side. You take that one bolt off, and there's ten bolts on the left side. 
Remove those and then lay the engine down on its left side up on a couple blocks. I removed the bolts. There's uh, one on the right side and ten on the left side and laid the engine down on its left side on these two blocks here because there's a couple of shafts to stick through. I've also attached a, um, a case splitter onto the case and um, I know some guys do it without a case splitter and you know if you want to try it that way you can. You know, but I don't know if it's a good idea to, to beat on these shafts you know, with a hammer or not. And this should just pull it open. Sometimes you, you'll have a, a tough time, you have to re reposition a little bit and if it's too hard, take a second look and make sure you didn't miss a bolt. Because sometimes they'll, they'll be hiding in the grease or something and you might miss one. Alright, let's give it a try. side is splitting but the right side wants to hold down. Okay well I got the left side going. I'm going to reposition the uh, splitter onto the crankshaft. Splitter is located a little more towards the right of the engine over the crankshaft so let's try it again. Okay, it popped. Case is split. Well, let's look inside here. Probably better check on the back, make sure no washers got stuck. Well, one did, just fell off. It's probably over this transmission gear. Here's what the inside looks like. There's a bearing here and there's a bearing here. Okay, here it is. This is the only one it fits on. Next we'll pull the crankshaft out. It just lifts out. And here it is. It has a bear on either side of it. This video is getting long so I'm going to do the transmission in the next video.